My name is Annette and today I'm going to read you a slightly different version of the story Cinderella. Maybe you've read this book before, maybe you know the story. In this version things are a little different and it involves these sunshades. Maybe you like to wear them too. Let's find out what happens in this version of Cinderella which is called Cinderbella by Malachi Doyle and Matt Hunt. Once upon a day there were three brothers and once upon a every night at eight o'clock sharp the two older ones Gareth and Gus went off to their ever so cosy beds. Can you spot Cinderella? Yes. The youngest though had to spend the night as close as he could to the fire with his little dog Ruff and that's why they called him Cinderbella. Cinder do every job in the house fella. Turn up the TV shouted Gareth and put out the bins. Then order us a mega pizza yelled Gus. We're starving. They don't sound very nice do they? I'm not being very kind. Oh rough said Cinderbella. They're just such bossy brothers aren't they? Ruff, ruff, said Ruff. Clip my toenails. Oh dear, looks a bit whiffy, doesn't it? Charge my phone. Finish my homework. Clean my room. Goodness me, they're very bossy, aren't they? Goodness me. Yes, Gareth and Gus were so bossy. Especially on the day that Kaylee, the junior karate champ, was having her party. Shine our scooters, then iron our outfit cinders, ordered Gareth. Yeah, Kaylee's having a dance tonight, sneered Gus. And guess who's not invited? That's not very nice at all, is it? I wish Kaylee had asked us rough, said Cinderella, as the brothers scooted off. We are much better dancers than those two. And that's when he noticed Ruff had a piece of paper in her mouth. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Hey! What have you got there? asked Cinderella as he began to read. To all the brothers at number 12, you're invited to Kaylee's party. Dress fancy, come fancy, dance. That includes me. Kaylee invited me as well, ruff, ruff, said Ruff. Ruff rushed over to Gus and Gareth's wardrobe. These will look cool at the party, cried Cinderella, trying on some sunglasses. Now Gareth and Gus won't even know who we are. We've just got to make sure we're back home before they are. Ruff, meanwhile, had found some spark wheels. Good idea, said Cinderella. We'll go on that. At the party, everyone was doing the groovy chicken. Almost everyone. It's your lucky night, Kaylee. Come and dance with me, said Gareth. It is indeed, cried Gus, strutting up and down, because I, Gus, am here to dance you to dreamland. Not sure Kaylee's too thrilled about that idea. Oh, these look-alike boys and their copycat dancing, sighed Kaylee. Then she spotted someone on the other side of the room. Who's that? she asked the brothers, but neither of them knew. Hey, she said, gliding over. I like your moves and your dogs. Thanks, said Cinderella, grinning. We're doing the funky monkey. Can I do it too? asked Kaylee, taking him by the hand. The two of them hopped and they bopped, they giggled and grooved. Hop banana, jump banana, skip banana. Swing from the trees, land on your knees, slide banana. We're doing the funky monkey. Looks very fun, doesn't it? <laughs> they were singing and swinging until Cinderella's watch beeped eight times. Suddenly, he remembered he had to be back before Gus and Gareth's bedtime. 
See you later, Kaylee Karate Chop, he said, slicing her a high five. But as he and Ruff sped off, his sunglasses went flying. And a little while later, Kaylee found them. Oh, I wish they could have stayed, she said, picking up the shades. And so it came about that Kaylee spent all weekend scouring the neighbourhood, searching for Cinderella, and every boy she met had to try on the fancy glasses to see if it was him, no matter how silly they looked. But all right, don't they? The very last house. Kaylee came to belong to Gareth and Gus and Cinderella. Does that funky dancing boy live here? She gasped. The one who was wearing knee specs. Oh, that was me! cried Gareth and Gus, trying them on. Kaylee shook her head. No way. Oh, I'm never going to find him. Then all of a sudden she heard a. <laughs> Hi! cried Kaylee. That sounds like the little dog. That funky dancing dog. Oh no, said the brothers blocking the doorway. It can't be. But Kaylee knew that it was. With a mighty hi -ya! she burst open the door and there on the other side was Ruff. And who was behind her? Sure enough, it was Cinderella lighting up the room. With a happy hi yeah, Kaylee popped the glasses back onto his nose. I finally found you, she cried. Let's bop till we drop, karate chop, said Cinderella with the grinniest of grins. Now, happily ever after, they're the best of funky friends singing, kick banana, chop banana, we're doing the funky monkey. The end. And I like in this picture the two brothers kissing outside while Karate Kaylee and Cinderella are dancing inside, finally gets to have his boogie around the lounge. I hope you enjoyed that story and I'll see you soon.